I chose my confirmation name in honor of my grandmother. Uh, she lived a very Christian life because she was very kind, caring and generous to everyone she knew. Each one of us has a name. In a family, it is how we address our brothers and sisters. Our name tells us that we are unique. There is only one you. When we buy a new book, sign a drawing, enroll in a choir, or join a sports team, or when we enroll for confirmation. We sign our name down. At baptism, our parents give us a name. The faith community welcomes us. We are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. This year is a special year in our lives as we prepare for the Sacrament of Confirmation. As we approach this new chapter in our lives, we hope to be strengthened by the Holy Spirit. As part of our preparation, we will choose a new name. It does not replace the name given to us at baptism. So why do we do this? Well, when Jesus called his first followers, he named Simon Peter. This name means rock. While on the road to Damascus, Saul had a dramatic encounter with Christ. He then became known as Paul. I took the name Paul after my uncle Paul, who was a strong believer and had a very good faith and was also a very kind person, but he sadly died three years ago. I also took the name after Paul of Tarsus, who encouraged us all to be better Christians. He's also known as St. Paul. How do we pick a name? Think of someone who inspires you someone you would like to be like, whose spirit you would like to share, and who reaches out to others. People often pick the name of a saint who inspires them. What is it about Jesus that inspires so many people? Over the centuries, many people all over the world, sometimes in very challenging times and circumstances, have carried forward the torch of Christian faith. Today, we are also asked to carry forward the light of faith, hope and love in Jesus' name.